Winston Edmondson here with Silicon Angle Studio B, speaking with Jim Anthony of Verizon Terramark. Jim wanted to find out a little bit about your eCloud offerings. Hi, Winston. Uh, yeah, so eCloud is uh, short for our product that we call Enterprise Cloud. It's actually been around in the market for about five years. Uh, we developed it as a result of a, uh, an older platform that we had for managed hosting uh, that we used to call Infinistructure. So uh, one of the things that we, uh, we, we built into the platform was the idea that customers would have the ability to log into a console, uh, build and destroy virtual machines at will, uh, and then actually do a programmatic configuration of firewalls and load balancers as well. Uh, how have customers received this? Uh, you said it's been around for about five years, but how have customers been receiving it? It's been very popular. Uh, we, you know, we're on a rapid application development uh, methodology. We roll out new features and functions about every six weeks for the platform. Uh, we have a backlog of features that customers have requested, and uh, it, you know, we just keep rolling through uh, through time with it. It doesn't do everything for everybody, but it does do a lot of things for a lot of interesting customers. Uh, so, you know, we're it's a it's a very big part of our business and uh, something that you know just about everyone that works for me really uh, is able to demonstrate and show off and talk about. I did notice that there were some new enhancements that uh, you rolled out recently. Tell us a little bit about the new enhancements. So we've, uh, we've recently rolled out some features uh, such as IPv6 support. Uh, we've done some, um, some things with uh, load balancing of load, uh, distributing load across multiple data centers, um, distributing access points uh, for our customers for more reliable access uh, to the environment as well. We've, uh, we've recently enhanced the APIs, so, so every single function that you see in the, in the console itself is also available through API calls, uh, so you can programmatically do things within the environment. We've enhanced the security features that are built into the platform as well, uh, whether they're, they're security that surrounds the cloud platform or security that the individual users and groups of users that sign up to use it can take advantage of. Now, sometimes uh, customers, uh, it takes them being told that they need a solution uh, then of course they'll reflect and discover maybe they really do need it. Talk to uh, the customers that you've seen, which industries really um, benefit from this type of service? That's, a, that's really a great question. So the, the platform is actually designed to address needs of enterprise customers. These are customers that have usually have large data centers, large existing applications, significant investments that have already been made in these applications and the infrastructure they run on. But they're running into uh, one barrier or another, whether it's a talent barrier with their own with their own human resources, or it's a space capacity, or it's a an intermittent use capacity, where you know spikes in utilization and things like that that they just can't handle anymore. Uh, so there's a wide variety of use cases that fit the model very well. One of the really unique features of the platform is that we put the idea of oversubscription into the customer's hands. So we give them the ability to actually buy a fixed amount of resources and then oversubscribe those resources and when necessary, take advantage of unused capacity on the platform that they didn't necessarily buy up front. Fascinating. Now, tell us a little bit. You, you, you are a seasoned player in this space, but there are a lot of uh, companies that are trying to get in the space. How does your service differentiate itself amongst all the competition? So this is where I usually pull my hands out of my pocket and start naming things, <laughs> right? So uh, just, to, just to keep it nice and polite. So the first thing to think about is that cloud is built on infrastructure like every other application that runs in the world. It's on physical, real infrastructure. Hello, we're at EMC World, right? So uh, that's one of the things to think about. So we architect the platform the way a lot of our commercial customers would architect the platform if they were going to build one for themselves. Uh, so it's got all those same features, name brand hardware, name brand hypervisors, features and functions that are available to, uh, to all, through all those hardware vendors. So that's one critical component. The other thing to think about is the cloud is only as good as where it's deployed, right? So if it's in a data center that, that uh, it gets knocked over by weather or is experience earthquakes or whatever, you know, you've got an issue there. So, so we, we deploy the cloud platforms in very robust locations that are built to withstand hurricanes if they're in Miami, earthquakes if they're in California, so on and so forth. Another thing to think about is the internet connectivity to that cloud platform. If, if the internet is not available for some reason, what good is the cloud platform for you or your end users? So internet connectivity is a major focus for all of our deployment locations. We use multiple vendors and, and bundle that connectivity together and make it available to the customers. Fantastic. Now for viewers that are watching and they have that aha moment and they think, I need that, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? So the easiest thing to remember is uh, you can go to the website, which is theenterprisecloud.com. 
um, or you can drop an email in to, uh, to sales at terramark.com and, and we'll get somebody to, to reach out to you and figure out how to, how to supply some, some needs or some services to your needs. Fantastic. Thanks for stopping by, Jim Anthony. Thank Studio you. B. Appreciate Have a good one. It.